Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabati filah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Hayyakum Allah jami'an A question was asked from one of our fadla, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him with khair and protect him from sharr and bless him with that which will be good for him and pleasing to him. So the questioner asked, in essence, should I marry a sister of very good manners, all of these excellent qualities and traits but she hates Salafis for the mistakes that she has seen uh, in, in bad character and bad conduct. And this is a sister in one of the Arab countries, which is the same scenario we see in many, many places in many countries. Should I marry this sister? So you found a sister of good, so many sifat that are excellent. And I've been reflecting on this question this morning and in the midst of listening to some of the mahadharat, mahadharat of Ahlul Sunnati with Jama'ah, A'immat al-Da'wat Ahlul Sunnah, Mashaykhina, I, I began to reflect and ponder about this question even more. No doubt we're Muslim, and you want a good sister of good conduct, maybe she's beautiful, maybe she has these excellent traits, she's excellent manners, all these great things. But truly the Talib al-Ilm, the student of knowledge and the one who is really trying to adhere to the book and the sunnah and the madhab of the salaf would not truly be satisfied with a woman who's not on that. Because when you say that she's not Salafi, that means she's probably not or she can't possibly because what we mean by Salafi is you're adhering to the madhab of the Salaf. It's not a clique, it's not a group, no matter what the people say. That means that you, the person who is not adhering to Salafiyya, that means they are not, and I state this without reservation, they are not of those who are adhering to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu alayhi wa la alihi wa sallam wa la madhab salaf This is problematic for any Muslim because you're ordered to follow the book and the sunnah. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa la alihi wa sallam He said what? He said Khayr al-nas qarni thumma al-ladhina yalunuhum thumma al-ladhina yalunuhum the best people is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. That is the Salaf. Anyone who tries to adhere to that minhaj, that methodology, that understanding of Islam, which is the only understanding that has any worth, any value, any legitimacy, is that of the Salaf. Best, fakat, nothing else. And if we look what our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem, first and foremost, what did Allah Azza wa Jal say? وَسَابِقُونَ الْأَوَّلُونَ مِنَ الْمُحَاجِرِينَ وَالْإِنسَارِ وَالَّذِينَ تَبُهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ SubhanAllah, and Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with Him. Allah Azza wa Jal says fi kitabihi al-kareem وَسَابِقُونَ الْأَوَّلُونَ From the first, وَالْأَوَّلُونَ and, and, and uh, you know, from the first and those, those, uh, those who preceded. And then he subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us who exactly they are. Min al-muhajirin wal ansar. From the muhajirin wal ansar, those people who made hijra from Mecca to Medina, lillah. And the muhajirin, uh, the, the, the ansar, those who accepted them in Medina. And then Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَلَذِينَ اَتَّبُهُمْ بِيَحْسَانِ And then those who follow them in righteousness. How is it that you could want a sister that doesn't, doesn't, uh, is not on that, doesn't fit into that criterion, doesn't fit, her profile is not in that profile? That's going to be problematic for you if you are adhering to the book and the sunnah and having love for it and ghira for the sunnah. I'm not saying it's muharram. 
I'm, I'm saying it could be very problematic unless she is willing to mold and adhere and accept proofs, not her desires, not her whims, not what her family, not what her tribe, not what the people say when they turn you off from the da'wah. The second issue I want to mention, Habitifillah, is also very important because we have a lot of Salafi apologists these days. Now, we're sorry for mistakes that people have made. And we're sorry for our own mistakes that we've made. But we're not sorry for Salafia. Abedin. And even if we're one, we don't care. So many people, everybody's always apologi apologizing for the Tao. I know so many Talib at the even some Mashaikh uh, in the West I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the scholars that I you know, that I would like to sit with and that I like to be under their beards and have been under their beards. They don't apologize because they've been teaching us this and they were teaching before they taught us. They were teaching us uh, adab and they were teaching us kitab wa sunnah wa faham as salaf and khair. And even people who refuted ahl bid'ah be shidda like Imam Mukbil bin Hadi al Wadi, Allah yarhamahu. Even him, subhanAllah, you, sh you wouldn't believe how humble he was. And to be in his presence, I recall the last time that I saw him, and I don't remember if it was in Sana'a, I don't remember the what city, but I remember being in the masjid in a small room. Maybe it was Jamal Khair or something. And most of the people, everyone that was in there were Yemeni, probably some of them are Mashayikh now, and Tulab al Ilm. And everyone stood up, and they stood up, which is a very common thing amongst the Arabs. But they stood up, and when you saw this imam, because he was elder, he was he was sick at this time, kind of slowly come into the room, and he just looked everyone dead, like in their eyes. And I remember being in lineup in the circle, you know, to greet the sheikh, and tawada, tawada. Look this word up if you don't know. Which we could just say, very humble, and very, uh, it's an honor to have been. To shake that imam's hand even. And it didn't give me barakah. Like the Sufis say. So getting back to the point is. When you have that kind of love for the book and the sunnah. It will be problematic if you marry someone. Who doesn't share that. And who doesn't share that madhab. Because you. She may have some issues of takfir. She may listen to some takfiris. She may listen to some. Uh, uh, Sufis. She may say, well, you know, Hamza Yusuf's kind of nice, or Habib Jeffrey, or someone who else who says that if you come into the barakah, if you if you come into the presence of their father, you are guaranteed paradise. She may listen to people like this because she, she believes they all have good. Except Ahl <laughs> Sunnah. That can be problematic for you. So I would say reassess that, think about it, contemplate it, think about what you want, and know for sure there are so many Righteous Muslimat Ali Kitabi wa Sunnah. And especially when you mention in the Arab world, but even outside the Arab world, in many countries, and even in the West, but especially there in some of those places like Yemen and Saudi you can tap into that.